Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ocheap channel, the channel dedicated to all things cheap and water fragrances. And in today's video, we are taking a look at two cheapies that are perfect for cooler weather, and they just so happen to be clones of much more expensive fragrances. And it's from a clone house that I've talked about before on this channel, and I'll continue to talk about because of how cheap they are and also how available they are. It's from none other than Bell Camp Parfums, or you can buy them at Bell Camp Shop. But the unique thing that I've found with Belcam products is that you can find these fragrances at Walmart and they're really, really good, especially for the price you can pick them up at, which can be sometimes under $10, which is what they usually go at. And like I just said, these two fragrances are perfect for the cold, cooler weather. And since it's still winter time right now, these are perfect to pick up and wear all the way through, even until the springtime. Now, one of these I did pick up from Walmart, which is where you can usually find the Belkin Parfum fragrances. And but one of them I also ordered from Amazon. So depending on where you're at, you may be able to find them on Amazon or Walmart or either or. But let's go ahead and get into the first one. And it is a box you'll find that looks like this. It is called Volatile. And you can see on the box, it'll tell exactly our version or replica of such and such fragrance. And the one that they are replicating on this one is none other than Spice Bomb. And it's a Spice Bomb EDT. It's not Spice Bomb Extreme or any of the other ones. It's from the original Spice Bomb. And so this is what the box looks like. And you have your very basic information on it. And you have information on the back, on the side that tells you where it's made. It's made in the US and all kinds of different ingredients and their description of how they go about their business and what they sell. And when you open up that box, you're gonna get this bottle. It's a very minimalistic stock bottle, tall, cylindrical, it's the exact same bottle they use on their East Saint Laurent Loam clone, except uh, the top is different. It's a black top rather than a clear and gray top like it was on the other one. And as usual, there's no descriptions online about these. There's nothing on fragrance net or base notes or anything like that. So I have to read from the description of the box, kind of get that note breakdown of what they're trying to go for. So on the side, it says volatile for men, our version of Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb, the Eau de Toilette is a highly charged blend of fresh citrus with hints of saffron and rich spices over a warm base of leather, vetiver, and tobacco. Experience the energy. And that's exactly what this is. This is a very, very good and very accurate clone of the original Spice Bomb. It doesn't lean toward extreme, where extreme is very vanilla forward and a lot sweeter and not so much on the spice. This relies heavily on the spice. Very, very spicy. You do get that vanilla coming in, it's slightly sweet. Um, and then you get that, of course, leather and tobacco kind of nuance as it dries down, but there really isn't any kind of dry down to this. It's pretty linear all the way through, even though it does kind of get warmer as the fragrance goes on, but a very, very accurate and surprisingly smooth. In the air and on the test strip, this is a one-to-one -to, -one to the original Spice Bomb. I even sprayed Spice Bomb Extreme and this together on the side, and it is very, very close to that DNA that Victor and Roth has of that line. It is just incredible how they're able to pull this off. And I think I picked this up on Amazon for about, 10, $12, which is a steal for what you can get with this. And I believe it's still in stock on Amazon. So if you go now, you should be able to find it. Performance on this is not the absolute best, but it is a very loud projector, especially if you spray it in the air, you'll really get a good whiff of it. As far as longevity, it's average, a little less than average. It is on the cheaper side, so you're not gonna expect it to perform as well as something that is probably better blended and that's has better quality ingredients. But still, with what you get out of this, you can respray as much as you want and it smells great every time you spray it on. The one thing I will say about this is that when you spray it on, especially if you spray too much, the vanilla that's in this can come off almost a little sour and a little cloying. So definitely spray in moderation. And when you do spray it, don't judge it immediately, let it dry down because it does round out more as an alcohol kind of smell dissipates and you let the fragrance really just go through the wear. But still, as an alternative to the original Spice Bomb, this is about as good as you're gonna get, especially for the price. And if Walmart does pick this up or you see it out at Walmart and it's on rollback for even less than the Amazon price, 
definitely pick this up. Even if you already have the other, you could use this as a good substitute for when you don't feel like spraying on your actual bottle or if you wanna carry this around with you in the cold weather. But this is just a wonderful clone. You don't see a whole lot of clones of Spice Bomb. So having Bell Campar from them make this is just a wonderful addition to their listing. But I do highly recommend this. It is volatile from Bell Camp Parfum, their take on Spice Bomb. Now going on to the second one, and this one is one that I actually did find in person at a Walmart, and I found it actually at multiple different Walmarts for a little while. So if you keep looking, you should be able to find it at different locations, or if you keep looking at your local one all year round, it should come in eventually. If not, you can always get this on Amazon or at Bell Camp Parfums shop, and it is this one here, Bold Tobacco. So just looking at the box, I think you can kind of tell what this is going to be a clone of. It has that black and gold coloration and it's saying tobacco. So you can already guess that it is a Tom Ford clone. And you see on the box, this is their version or replica of Tobacco Vini by Tom Ford. And it has, of course, all the regular information on the box. And then you have the note breakdown on the back. And when you open up that box, you're going to get this bottle. It is a very standard stock bottle that Bell Camp Parfum uses a lot in a lot of their fragrances. And you'll see as I cover more of their clones, this kind of style bottle pop up all over. But this one is a solid black bottle with, of course, gold lettering, saying bold tobacco and a gold top on it. But I want to go ahead and read the fragrance and note description from the box. On here, he says, Bold Tobacco, our version of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, is a rich, woody, spicy scent. The fragrance opens with notes of tobacco flower and ginger root, followed by hints of spicy cinnamon and cloves, and finishes with a smooth base of warm vanilla, teakwood, and amber. So immediately, you expect this to be a very tobacco forward and vanilla and spice forward fragrance. It's something that's going to be warm, something that's going to be sweet, something that's going to be almost a little earthy and very herbal because of that tobacco. But what I get out of this one is a huge, huge amount of vanilla. Of course, it is in the name Tobacco Vanille, so you would expect the two most prominent notes to be tobacco and vanilla, which it is. And it's actually a very nice balance between tobacco and vanilla, but I will say vanilla, even though they're saying it as a base note, this is a very prominent vanilla fragrance. It's forward all the way through from the top to the dry down all the time you wear it. It is a very sweet, very creamy vanilla, but it doesn't come off like a sour, cloying kind of vanilla like how the Spice Bomb clone could have been. It's actually a very nice, very realistic kind of vanilla. And the tobacco in here does come in adding that smokiness and does have the spiciness along with it. But I personally never gotten the smell of tobacco vanilla, even though I have smelled a lot of inspiration and clone fragrances. And I will say this is very, very good in comparison to those. And because of how accurate Bell Cam has been in their clones, I imagine that when I do smell tobacco vanilla, it's going to smell a lot like this because it smells very, very good. And because of how sweet and dominant the vanilla is in this, I would almost go as far as to say that this is a good gourmand style fragrance. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't consider tobacco vanilla to be a gourmand. If you like sweet stuff, you like baked goods, you like that kind of style, sweet candles, all of that, you would really love this one because of how creamy and how realistic that vanilla comes across. And because of how strong that vanilla and that tobacco is, this is actually a very great performing fragrance, a very loud projector. Even this one spray is going to fill up a whole room. So you can imagine how a full wearing is going to be. It's going to be projecting everywhere. And it's a fairly long lasting fragrance. One of the best that I've had from Bell Cam and all the stuff I've owned from them so far. Perfect for those harsh, extra cold winter nights. This thing is going to permeate through the air. It's going to last all the way from the beginning of the night to the end. You don't have to worry about it. It is going to sit right along with you through those dates, through those outings, through whatever you have to go with. This is going to be right along with you and it's going to make you smell really, really good. This just has a wonderful quality blend, especially for that price of $12 or under. You just can't beat it. Even if you just want a great performing fragrance for the winter time, for those cold, cold nights, this is a perfect match for that. Again, if you want a good alternative to Tobacco Vanille, I highly recommend this one here. It is Bold Tobacco by Bell Cam.
So again, if you want two good cheapies for the fall or the winter time or just cold weather in general, especially the really cold, I'd highly recommend these two here. It is two from Bell Camp Parfum. You have Volatile, which is a clone of Spice Bomb, the EDT, and you have Bull Tobacco, which is a great clone of Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Both of these are really good quality, especially for the price. You could find them for usually $12 or under, sometimes at Walmart and sometimes at Amazon. And if you did enjoy this video, please consider liking it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And let me know what you think about these. If you like these fragrances, if you've tried them, if there are other Bell Camp Parfum fragrances you've tried that you really like, or if there's other cheapies you would substitute and add on for good cold weather scents, let me know in the comments below. And if you're watching this video and you have subscribed, please consider subscribing and following because there's a lot of things that I want to talk about, a lot of things I'm looking forward to and that I'm planning and I'd love to have you along with me for the ride and hopefully help you discover something new as well. And as usual guys, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you all again in the next one. Be blessed.